Hey everyone, Rafael here, Test Latino. Um, so I just want to talk a little bit about what happened yesterday. Um, uh, Michael from Test Latinity and myself, we we got a um, Performance Model 3, white on white, beautiful car, and we we tested it. We reviewed, um, you know, just trying to find out what are the things that are different from from the Performance Model 3 uh, with our long range rear wheel drive uh, Model 3. We both had our cars for a few months. Michael's had his car for I think six or seven months. I've had mine for uh, almost three months. So we're pretty familiar with how these cars uh, operate, how they react to the road, how the autopilot reacts to other cars. Uh, I've done 6,000 miles in less than three months in my car. I think Michael's got about uh, 10,000 or so in the six or seven months he had it. So um, we feel fairly confident that um, we know Tesla uh, Model 3s fairly well. And we spend a lot of time talking to other folks that um, are the same, right? Uh, other owners, people that don't own the cars yet, but yet <clears throat> they are familiar with uh, how these cars operate and are waiting for uh, for picking up their own, right? So enough of that. So with that being said, um, what about that car yesterday? Well, um, the Performance Model 3 that we got, the first thing that I noticed from that car is that um, the interior, even though everything's kind of shaped the same, the interior actually really felt different. Um, and it's not just color-wise. The color definitely, definitely pops out. The color um, is very bright, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't really hurt, like not bright as in it's hard to look at. It's, it's a really nice, nice car to be looking at, uh, the interiors. Um, some people might get worried that um, you know, kids might stain them, passengers, people that, you know, don't take care of, 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 of your car the way that you do because you are the owner and you're going to keep like everything very nice and neat. Um, but the reality is that the, the way that it feels, it also feels like, like, like this car, right? Like this, uh, soft touch here. I mean, my, my, uh, my seats are comfortable, extremely comfortable. And, um, and they're like, because they're dark, they hide dirt pretty well, even though I don't really uh, let my car get very dirty. So uh, the white one, yeah, you can notice everything, like the shadows coming through the through the glass roof. Uh, when it's wet, you see shadows in the car, but the car looks pristine all the time if you keep it clean. Um, so yeah, in terms of the interior, uh, I, I sat in the back for a little bit. <clears throat> um, I drove the car. I was a passenger on the car and um, it's just like this one. It's very comfortable. I was surprised though that the car had 20 inch wheels, so a lower profile tire, and it still felt like really, really good, right? Um, driving on the road, it wasn't an uncomfortable ride. As a matter of fact, somehow it kind of felt even smoother than this one. And I have absolutely no complaints about this car, but uh, I like the sporty uh, suspensions, right? So if this car is a little bit too rigid for most people, I'm I'm just not the right guy to to complain about that, right? Because I actually like the car hugging the road, you know, stiffer suspension. I like to take the cars to the racetrack. I haven't taken this one, and I might not take it to the track just because it's my daily driver, right? So. Um, but those things aside, because we're not here to talk about my car, we're talking about yesterday's car, the P3D. Um, about the interior, nice, comfortable, just like this one. Now, performance-wise, that that car is just quick. The the P3D, they did a really good job. The car actually feels faster than it is, right? Um, 
The truth is that we were testing the car in a closed environment. We had a small stretch of road. It was tiny. It wasn't that long of a, of a straight, but the car has so much power that we could actually reach um, at least 60, 70 miles an hour in, uh, you know, just the three, four seconds that it takes that car to take it, like to get to that speed. So um, we hooked up the, the Draghi. Uh, if you don't know what the Draghi is, it's just like the V-Box. It's a device that uses GPS technology to uh, and, and uh, an accelerometer to to, to, to know the g-forces uh, the time it takes to cover X amount of distance right so the draggy tracks um, 0 to 60 and other times with other distances uh, like uh, it can track an eighth of a mile a quarter mile and it also tracks uh, stopping time right so if you accelerate hard and slow down from let's say 65 or 70 it's going to give you numbers of how long it took to bring it down from whatever speed to the next thing that they measure uh the most relevant speed that uh for stopping distance and and, and time that it takes that uh usually people track is how long does it take for uh for the car for the car for go to go from from 60 to zero but it also gives you like from 30 to zero like so so you can see how the car stops uh from X uh, speed, uh, how, how long it took, right? So <clears throat> yesterday that car gave us a, I think it was like a 3.4 or 3.04 seconds to go from 60 miles an hour to, to, to zero. Um, but so the distance was, I think it was like 151 feet, something like that. And the reality is that even though those don't sound like really good numbers, they were because the, the road was wet. And, and it wasn't just humid, there were puddles. So there was absolutely the worst traction you can possibly have other than having slick tires on, on a wet surface with puddles, right? So we had uh, the all, all season tires that come with the 20 inch wheels and the car was still stopping like a champ. Right, so the car stopped at, um, at, at you know, uh, from, from 60 miles an hour, it stopped to zero at three point some seconds, right, on the wet. So uh, the, the thing is that it, it actually felt violent, right? Like Michael used that word uh, yesterday while, while we were re like talking, to, talking about the experience that we just had with the car, right? And the car does uh, feel violent in the sense of like when you really want to unleash the beast, the car just goes, it takes off like uh, like a freaking plane. And when it's time to stop, it almost feels like uh, like a performance, like a, like a race car, right? Like almost like you're throwing out the, the, the parachute on a drag race car. Um, so great acceleration, um, great brakes. And um, yeah, overall the car was fantastic. Um, what else can I say about this car? Um, if I have the chance to get my hands on a performance model three, like if I, if I really have the, 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 the way to acquire one, I will right take it. <laughs> We're no gonna questions take asked. Uh, I don't See need you to in March. more about the car. <laughs> um, there's a lot of, you know, uh, bad press about one, Tesla two, coming out from haters. And, uh, you know, owning and knowing people that I, think that's good uh, I have to say yeah. that there have been <laughs> so, some, you know, so I, I, I quality uh, issues with the builds. Some cars have come up with, but you know, with, with less than perfect, less than ideal uh, hardware. Um, which manufacturer has not had a single car with a problem? None. Like every car company has problems with those cars, right? So Tesla is no different in that sense. Uh, there's never going to be a perfect company, uh, but the thing is that Tesla is bending over backwards to make things right, right? Even for minor things, like I had some minor things, like uh, my car was uh, chipped on the uh, on one part of the uh, of the paint while it was in transport. Like the car had 
um, it's it said that when the car was delivered that that it had 50 miles. My car had 12 miles in it, uh, or maybe less. So, but the, my point is that the car was brand new and it had an issue, and you know when I was ready, so I took the delivery of the car, I took it home with me. But as soon as I was ready to to let Tesla take the car and make things right, they just took it. They gave me a loaner Model S. A P90D, that car was pretty sweet. Uh, it was an older model. It didn't have all the technology that this car has. But, you know, overall, they had the car for a couple of days. They painted the rear quarter panel. Or they, they, they just fixed the chip. And they matched the paint perfectly. The car looks like it came out of the factory brand new. It looks perfect. There's no, no trace that the car was painted or anything like that. So... You know, uh, besides that, there was an issue with a blinking light that wasn't blinking correctly. And uh, an over-the-air update uh, fixed my headlight. Like, my signal lights, what other manufacturer will fix a headlight just, you know, sending an update to the software, right? They had replaced the, uh, the left headlight because there was a, a defect, uh, a scratch on it. And it, it was the original one that was in the car was hardware version one of the headlights. They apparently they have a second version of the hardware for the headlights. So when they put the new one, it was not in sync with the software that the car had. So, so they pushed an update. And uh, even though it was working before the update, the, the blinking light uh, was uh, uh, two or three times the speed of normal signal light, right? So when they pushed the update, it just got fixed, right? I didn't need to take the car to a service or anything like that. They just knew what the issue was. They pushed the update and bam, that's it. So, you know, um, I think it's a really cool thing uh, that, that Tesla can do those things. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so going back to the Performance Model 3, um, I definitely love that car. I think it's worth every single penny. Uh, it would be really, really hard if not impossible to get a car with that performance for the price um, that they're selling it for now those cars um, because some people like to up upgrade because I don't think uh, Tesla owners usually uh, just get rid of the car and get a, a nice car right um, so my guess is that those cars are going to be in the used car market in a couple of years because the owners are updating, you know, upgrading to either uh, the upcoming Model Y or the, you know, bigger family or they have other needs and they might get a Model S or a Model X. So when that happens, there's going to be a market in the used car. Uh, they're going to be performance Model 3s in the used car market. And I'm pretty sure they're going to retain most of their value. <laughs> but the truth is that those cars are gonna come out in a you know different price range. Uh, the, every 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 um, every car, no matter what it is, unless it's uh, an antique, they they lose value, right? Because you're using it, even though these cars actually get better with time. Um, so my point is that there's gonna be used performance Model Threes for under the price that they're selling brand new, for whatever reason, and uh, a lot of people are gonna take advantage of that. I personally would like to have one. I want a new. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I don't even know if I'm gonna try because right now I think that my next Tesla that will, will not replace this one, right? The next car in the family, in the household, is probably gonna be a Model Y or another Model, Model 3. Um, the reason for that is because um, another, uh, so we still have uh, two ICE vehicles in the house. So our goal is going to be to replace those cars with uh, Teslas and also, you know, put the solar uh, panels, uh, probably the Tesla battery to take advantage of that as well. And, and just try to, you know, stay within what we're trying to do in terms of doing good for the environment. Uh, it's definitely more economical to have an electric vehicle than a gasoline powered car that has other, it's not just about the electricity, right? It's also about um, the other expenses that you have. Uh, we don't have to be changing timing belts, spark plugs, oil, filter, coolant, I mean, uh, greasing the, I mean, it's just the list goes on and on, right? So in the long run, 
a uh, an electric vehicle is also uh, less expensive than a uh, yeah than, than a nice car. So um, going back to the performance Model Three that we tested yesterday, overall, I mean, uh, there's there's only so many things that you can say, right? Uh, we already spoke about how how the car feels, how the car drives, uh, the height, the dimensions of everything around the car, inside and out. Uh, the cars are pretty much the same, except for two mean motors with a lot of power, um, big brakes, great wheels, the car, the car drives really well, and um, yeah, I mean, what else can I say? The price point of the car, I think it's on par to the performance and the quality of the build. So, um, I mean, don't just take it, ju don't just take my word, right? Call Tesla set up an appointment, go go drive one, and uh, you're gonna see what I mean. So anyway, that's all I have for now. So if, uh, I hope you like the, the summary, uh, this video, and uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can put some additional content on, on the YouTube channel. So if, if you like what you're seeing, if you like the information that I'm putting out, along with, you know, uh, my partnership with uh, Michael from Tesla Tunity, uh, just subscribe to the channel, click on the bell so you get notifications every time I put a new video. And um, yeah, any questions you may have, you can send me an email to teslatino at rafaelsantoni.com. Um, and or you can leave comments on the video or reach my Twitter account, which is teslatino uh, handle on Twitter. And uh, anything we can do to help you understand and, and get into the EV community, uh, Tesla or non-Tesla, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're here to help. So if, if you're already thinking about buying a, more, a, Model 3, uh, a Model 3 performance version or Model S or Model X, uh, and you use my referral code, uh, you will get uh, lifetime supercharging for free. So it also works for solar. So just, you know, send the questions our way, anything you want to know, and uh, we'll do whatever we can. Thank you for watching. Take care.